Hello friends, today we can learn a new topic that is semantics. In a simple word, semantics means the study of meaning. And the definition for semantics is, semantics is the study of the changes in words and its meaning, which takes place in all languages. Meaning of words is acquired through step-by-step -step processes. And we can look through some of the processes. The first one is semantic broadening or generalization. It is a process in which the meaning of the word became more general compared to its earlier form. For example, the word early means a small fowl, but the new meaning is any winged creature. Here, the meaning of bird became more generalized. Next process is semantic narrowing and specialization. And this is a kind of process in which the word became less general or less inclusive than its historically earlier meaning. For example, the meat earlier means any type of food. And the meaning now is changed to the flesh of an animal. For here, the meaning of word became less general. Next process is amateuration. This is a process in which the meaning of a word became more positive or favorable. For example, the word pretty earlier means cunning, but the new meaning is attractive. Next one is pejoration or degeneration. And it is a process in which meaning of a word became more negative. For example, the word silly means happy and now it means foolish. The word silly earlier had a positive meaning, but now it changed to a negative meaning. The next process is extension or transference. Some words became extended in meaning, but at the same time it retained the basic meaning. For example, to send a wire means to send a message through telegram. Here the wire has an extended meaning but it also retains the original meaning of a metallic filament. This process is known as extension or transference. Next one is euphemism. It is a kind of figure of speech where we use a less offensive name to hide the real nature of something unpleasant. For example, now we use the phrase pass away for death. The next one is reversal of meaning or shift in meaning. And it is a shift in meaning too much as to bring about the reverse meaning. For example, the word restive meant at rest. Now it means restless. There is a meaning shift. These are some of the processes that bring meaning changes in English. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel.